Hello and good evening and welcome to Complain or Night Prayer for this evening. My name is Martin Hollings, authorised lay minister in the Idi Idiminster Ismir team. And it's been a while since I've been with you. I've actually been returned to work. I uh, finished furlough earlier than was expected. And it's certainly been an eye-opener going back out, meeting and greeting people as I do in their homes through the course of a week. Indeed, it's been quite a humbling experience, to tell you the truth, because many people throughout the lockdown hadn't seen anybody else um, other than maybe near neighbours. Some were in communities. So when I turned up, all smiles, it's been quite good. And uh, as I say, quite humbling. And I just thought I want to thank again the Ismir team for keeping all these services going uh, over the time, the compliance, the morning prayers and our weekend services. Of course, one or two of our churches are now open and you're able to go in. Still many people aren't and they are very reliant on the internet and uh, our services being streamed. Now I travel a long way from Derbyshire right down to the base of Oxfordshire and it's interesting to speaking to like-minded people who found a lot of solace with online services and indeed a greater number have been tuning in so to speak than going in and this is something we need to be looking at for the future and i've spoken recently to a, a young lady who was missing being part of the three choirs festival this year but more so that she wasn't able to go to church because none of the churches in her vicinity were open so she was able to go online and access various services so thanks to our team keep up the good work uh, it's a much needed thing in our society today it is the new normal there's no question about that but i've just been truly blessed by the people i've met They've been very kind. We've done things in the proper way, safe distancing. I have my temperature taken every morning to make sure everything's all right. So there we are. But I have missed doing this. I'm glad I'm able to do this particular service. Um, tonight, uh, we have a psalm, Psalm 24 uh, of David. And we also have a reading from James, uh, the opening verses uh, 1. Uh, chapter 1, 1 to 10, trials and temptations. And our prayers, well, they're not, well, they are prayers. Uh, I'm very fortunate. I'm part of a, quite a big family. And I have a sister who's flown back in. She's a charity worker out in Malaysia. But she flew back to be with my nephew, her son, in Eversham. And she sends me messages of faith. She's quite a spiritual person. She teaches yoga. Uh, meditation as well as being you know Christian but I have a feeling that she's leaning towards Buddhism with the things that she sends me and I thought I would share some of these wonderful messages I get on a reasonably regular basis that sort of gets me going in the morning. First let's let's uh, kick off with a little moment of silence as we reflect upon the day uh, that has passed. The eternal God is your refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. And so our psalm, Psalm 24, of David and Saul. The earth is the Lord's, and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. For he founded it on the seas, and established it on the waters. Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord, who may stand in his holy place, the one who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not trust in an idol or swear by a false god. They will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from God their Saviour. Such is a generation of those who seek him, who seek your face, God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, your gates be lifted up, your ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is the King of glory? 
the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, your gates, lift them up, your ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is he, this King of glory? The Lord Almighty. He is the King of glory. It's a very straightforward reading, isn't it? It's, it has the same person, uh, purpose uh, as all of the other Psalms to glorify God. It simply states that the earth is the Lord's and the Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. King David is praising the name of the Lord our God for all the beauties of the earth he has created. He shall receive blessing from the Lord. This time of year when the gardens are full of flowers and ours look particularly nice at this time, even though I say it myself, I just look upwards and thank him, you know, providing all the water that they need. And uh, there's the glory of our God at work. And so to our reading from James, it's the new international version. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes scattered among the nations. Greetings, it says, trials and temptations. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that, so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt, because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. That person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Such a person is a double-minded and unstable in all they do. Believers in humble circumstances ought to take pride in their high position, but the rich should take pride in their humiliation, since they will pass away like a wild flower. This is the word of the Lord. This first chapter of James serves as a guide for believers who are walking in faith. It teaches that one should never be quick to get angry. In addition, those who are good listeners are able to gain knowledge and become wise. Those that boast and speak above others are not behaving in a godly manner. I think as, as lay ministers and ministers, it is a good thing that we're able to listen. And uh, it forms a very big part of what we do, doesn't it? Being a good listener and not passing comment, just listening. I'm just going to retrieve some of the things that my sister has sent me so I can read them as part of our uh, prayers. There we are. My sister's name is Leslie, by the way. And, uh, she's the oldest of the girls. I'm the eldest of the boys and the girls. So I'm the eldest of the six. Quite a close family. And these are just a few of the things that she sends. These lovely messages. Dear God, today I ask for nothing. I just want to thank you for walking with me this far. Thank you for hearing my prayers, for listening to me, for carrying me, for protecting me, for healing me, for blessing me, for answering me with what I need, when I need. Thank you for loving me unconditionally. Let your peace, which passes all understanding, continue to guard my heart, the hearts of those I love, my mind and my soul. Amen. Some more for you. If what ahead scares you and what behind hurts you, just look above. He never fails to help you. As I say, I get these on a reasonably regular basis. It's all about prayer, really. When we pray, God hears more than we say, answers more than we ask, gives more than we imagine in his own time and his own way. Amen. And finally, sprinkle a little love into someone's heart today. Be a friend, be a blessing, spread joy wherever you go. And God bless you.
And God bless you, Leslie, for sending these things to me. I hope you enjoyed those. So let us pray. We thank God for everything that he gives us and to others. We thank everyone on the front line in this battle against COVID-19. All the hard work, the doctors, the nurses, for those in power. And we look forward to being COVID free in the near future. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we say together the Lord's Prayer in whichever version you are comfortable with. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Have a peaceful and restful night. I hope you will wake up fresh for Sue McCaskill for morning prayer. Until the next time, good night.